Good morning ladies and gentlemen and thank you for watching ASFN. Yet another perfect morning to be on the water. It's been a lot of frustration and confusing times over the last weeks. I, I think all of you will agree. And uh, we've really taken on this thing about fishing, recreational fishing. And to keep you, put you guys in the loop, we mailed several ministers the whole proposal last week with the urge to lift the ban on recreational fishing. Our voting poll came to 10,370 this morning. We got to 10,000 on Friday last week. And uh, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised with how, how little or small amount of guys actually want to get back on the water looking at the voting polls. But uh, it is a lot of people, over 10,000. We've sent that through to Minister Creasy, several other ministers and Director Generals. Um, to to uh, lift the ban on fishing and we're going to continue working on that as much as possible if you go to our Facebook page ASFN fishing you will see we did a lot of uh, different photos encompassing all the different facets of fishing with allow recreational fishing because it is social distancing guys share that all over Facebook um, it just helps with creating awareness and assists with the whole project and mission to get um, fishing allowed again for all the reasons the economical impact all the jobs it creates the, the exercise we're all missing out on and very important a lot of recreational anglers depending on a lot of food on their table coming from what they catch within regulations of course these times have once again made it evident how important it is to have a voice now for many years recreational fishing on its own has never had a voice really. There's a lot of people that, that do act on behalf of recreational fishing. Um, even the competitive, the, the organized angling side, the Confederation of Fishing in South Africa has acted on behalf of recreational fishing. But in essence they're there for organized angling and competition fishing. Recreational angling obviously forming the bigger part. Now guys, uh, from ASFN's point of view, we could have been, we could have had a voice in many regulation decisions. May it be the MPAs, may it be close of beaches, beach driving, the, the launch sites and changing so many things, but there's no one representing recreational angling. So we've spoken to several uh, uh, individuals and we've created Fishcom, which will communicate to you guys. Fishcom is Fishing Community of South Africa, the recreational sports fishing community of South Africa. And we're going to put that together to stand up for recreational fishing, to act on its behalf and to have a voice. And we're going to build strategic alliances and relationships so that we can get involved in actually doing something for recreational fishing and giving it a voice in South Africa as it plays a massive part in the economy. It plays a ma massive part in, in South Africa from an activity point of view. And so many people participate in it, relies on it, works in it, so many things. So going forward, keep an eye on communication from our side with regards to Fishcom and what it means and what we'll stand for in some of the projects we want to try and get initiated in South Africa and launch. We appreciate your support. There's already over 10,000, like I said, guys, that filled in the voting poll that's supporting the cause for recreational fishing. So it's a great start. Let's take it forward from there. Thank you for watching, guys, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button to get notified every time we upload some videos or news. So guys, we're all holding thumbs and hoping that soon we can get back to fishing again. Um, so many collective efforts that's working towards us. The, the uh, release from Minister of Environment last week Thursday stated that no recreational fishing under level four. So we're hoping that now that we're looking at level three, this will definitely be considered and uh, opened up completely. So let's all thumbs. 